Campo, the Capital Area Metropolitan Planning Organization, has been asking everyone about their opinions about the future of how we get around here in our area. The comment period for a pair of plans just ended today, and KXAN's Alyssa Gord gives us a look at what's in the works and what you can still weigh in on. In northwest Austin, the plans could mean building more roads parallel to Palmer Lane, where the new Apple campus will soon be built. That's in Councilmember Jimmy Flanagan's district. He's also a member of Campo's board. Really, it's kind of take markers out and draw it on a map and say that kind of looks right. It's a very preliminary step that really Campo's not done before. Campo says they're still taking public comments on the arterial roads, main roads smaller than I-35, ones such as SH-21, FM 969, and Palmer Lane. The idea is to make improvements that will free up traffic on major highways for long-distance travelers. Is you end up getting a lot of uh, daily trips jumping on and off the highway one or two exits. That's not what highways are for, and it ends up creating a lot of of traffic conflict. It matters because Campo decides how federal and state dollars will be used on Central Texas roadways. The aim is to make many of these changes by the year 2045. By that time, the population in the greater Austin area is expected to more than double. Flanagan explains there's still plenty of time to tell elected officials what you want to see. And even if you miss the deadline for public input, continue to contact your city council members, your county commissioners and your state reps to have your voice heard. That could mean calling for improvements or even adding roads where you drive. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. In early 2019, Campo will start applying the comments into the projects they're working on. In the springtime, they plan to do another round of public comment on an arterial roadways draft. Adding some more perspective for you, the green areas on this map of the viewing area here are the areas that Campo says are underserved for traffic arteries. Williamson County has great coverage, but key stretches of Burnett County, Western Travis County, Central Hayes, and most of Bastrop County could use extra access.